Hi, welcome back to Mrs. Hewitt's Spelling at Home. Um, again, we're going to look at um, some sounds today that you have in English. And today we're going to look at a sound that comes um, at the end of a word and it has a silent letter. Um, and sometimes this can confuse you when you're spelling because you don't remember it. But also when you're reading, it might be a bit confusing. So I'm going to show you two sounds. I want you to sound them out at home now. So we've got this one. Remember that is mmm. It's not m because we don't have that uh sound. It is just m mm, stays, comes out your nose, stays in your mouth. Mmm. And then we have this one, which is b, 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 with a little puff of air. Okay. Now when these go together, these actually just make mmm. Okay. This B is sort of silent. Um, and the reason it appears in words is to do with the history of where those words come from, like maybe from the Latin or from some people that would have invaded England a long time ago and they would have brought their language with them. OK, and some of those spellings are still with us today, but we don't always sound them the same. So we have got words that end with these two letters, an M and a B, but together they only make the M sound. OK, um, unless they've got something after them, like in number, you do say the B because you've got the er uh after it. OK, but I'm going to show you some words. I'm not going to get you to think of any of yourself today because you won't necessarily know if a word ends, if a word ends with an M, whether it's just an M on its own or an M and a B. But we're going to read these words together. OK, I've only got four of them, but you might realise that when you're reading, you spot some other ones. Um, and this is something that you do need to recognise. Like I say, I don't want it to trip to trip you up when you're doing your reading. So my first word that I have got for you is this. So you can still use your phonics, okay? So sound these word, um, sound these letters out. L, a, m, lamb. Okay, so that is a lamb. Remember, a lamb is like a baby is a baby sheep. Okay, so actually, really, we're sounding that, aren't we, lamb? But the word has a b on the end. So if you're reading the word lamb and you see it in a book and you say, oh, lamb. Why have we got a B on the end? OK, it's because it's a silent letter in English. We do have some of those silent letters. So it is lamb. Say it all together. Lamb. Well done. So using that as a rule, let's see if we can do this one. OK, so we've got our blend here. Cl, cl. Now, this isn't an ear here. It's an eye. OK, so we have got climb like you were climbing the mountain or climbing the rope. OK, so that is the word climb. We have got this one. Which is comb, comb. And again, you think that, that actually is the O sound, isn't it? OK, but because we have, but in this word, it is the O sound. And again, this is all to do with the history of the language. English is really tricky, um, but that's why we're just going to practice saying these words today. So this is comb. So if you comb your hair, that is how you spell the word comb. And the last one is this one. Th um, thumb. Thumbs up. OK, so that is thumb. Right, so now I'm going to jumble them up. And when I put the word up to the screen, I want you to shout out the word, OK? So the first word is this one. Well done. The next one is this one. Good. This one. Well done. And this one. Well done. There are the, there are four of the words that end in that M, B. But the biggest thing to remember there is that B is silent. So if you come across any of those words in your reading, this is more for reading than spelling, really, um, you can remember not to say that B sound. Lastly, we have my sentence to read. So I'm going to hold it up to the screen and I want you to try and read it out loud at home. OK, let's do it all together. The lamb bit my thumb. The lamb bit my thumb. Maybe you can see if you could use the word climb in a sentence. Try and write a sentence using the word climb. That's your challenge. Okay, well done and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.